Unit Five: Gaming for Good. Read about it. Gaming is traditionally considered a form of entertainment that is bad for gamers, but in fact, studies show that it can be beneficial in many ways. For instance, gaming can improve social skills, and online gaming can keep people sharp. A group of researchers in the Netherlands surveyed teenage players of the game World of Warcraft. They discovered that the teens who played often were more socially successful and felt less lonely. This is probably because many players need to make a joint effort to achieve a common goal in these games. Besides, online gaming has even been shown to make people smarter in some studies. Researchers in Berlin scanned the brains of the adults who had been playing games every day for two months. They observed that the areas of these adults' brains responsible for memory and planning were more developed. Game designer Jane McGonigal believes that gaming is not just for the individual, but for the whole world. She gave a special name to people who play online games for more than an hour a day: virtuoso gamers. There are around 500 million virtuoso gamers all over the world, but she thinks the number of players will grow into 1.5 billion in 10 years, according to McGonigal. These gamers have acquired four special characteristics that improve their problem-solving ability. These qualities are: urgent optimism. Online gamers usually can't wait to overcome an obstacle. They are ready to face any problem right away and have faith that they will succeed. Community builders. Gamers love coming together to make tasks easier. If there is a problem that is hard to face alone. Gamers are quick to form groups and cooperate with their team members to make the challenging quest simpler. Blissful productivity. Gamers are willing to work extremely hard to achieve their gaming goals. They understand that sometimes people need to work hard to get what they want, and gamers feel the sense of accomplishment when they finally succeed. Epic meaning. Even though these online worlds are not real. Gamers still want to be the heroes and save them. Gamers are not afraid to make a difference. Although gaming indeed does people good, it has attracted a lot of criticism for a long time, and it can be argued that players spend too much time on games. However, gaming actually could have a lot to offer the world. McGonagall believes that games focusing on real-world problems, such as the ones she designs. Provide gamers with the skills that can be used to solve these problems in real life. Maybe gamers will be saving the real world in the near future.